Okay, hi everyone. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome Claire and Jared and Joa and Lucy. Whew. Okay, I just thought I'd started a bit early because yet again, I kind of forgot how to stream. <laughs> it's been so long. I think I'm streaming now. I think it's working. I think so. Hi, Resi Raider. Welcome. Can you guys hear and see me okay and everything? I got a, I got a new webcam. So it's a slightly better one. Thanks, Jared. Yeah, it's a slightly better one than the one that I had. So that's really exciting. Just hope that I set it up correctly. But yeah, how is everyone? How is everyone Saturday? Welcome Susie. Welcome Dealey boy. Nice to see you. <laughs> Welcome Charolia. So sorry. <laughs> so sorry if I said your name wrong. <laughs> I'm also like quite blind. So sometimes I can't like read the names very well. <laughs> waves <laughs> wave back so yeah i'm so excited so excited to do this saint patrick's day stream i have my little shamrock pinned here and a green headband of course i say it just like charlie oh okay cool that's good to know welcome charlie <laughs> um but yeah, this is going to just be a little bit of fun, a little bit of Irish fun, I guess. <laughs> Make fun of some of the accents and some of the other stuff. Welcome Emerald Raider and Alessio, nice to see you. Oh, I'm so surprised we have so many again for this stream. Welcome Adam and Abdullah, nice to see you. Uh, I was, because I was a bit worried because it wasn't a, a Tomb Raider stream that I wouldn't have many people. But um, yeah, thank you all so much for for joining. I think it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. So excited to get into this game. Oh, thank you so much, Dealey Boy. Yes, it's a little shamrock. It's like a little sprig of shamrock just pinned to my my cardigan <laughs> it's quite cute <laughs> oh I'm so excited I'm so nervous I just realized that I haven't streamed in four months or something so yeah a little bit nervous but all good <laughs> great so yeah we'll just wait another five minutes or so and then we can get into it in a matter of months you've doubled your subs number congrats yeah that is absolutely insane <laughs> like I just couldn't believe it because it took me so long to get to 1000 subs and then it took me a whole year to get to 2000 and then just yeah within a month basically we're inching towards 5,000 now, which is incredible, but also a little bit scary. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's really, really cool. Let's see. Try and keep up with all the comments. Welcome Shadow Wesker, David Morrison. Nice to see you. <laughs> I'm really excited for Nancy Drew as well, Christy. I can't wait. Welcome, John. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lara and Pierre's relationship. Yeah, I haven't streamed since the Larson and Pierre Christmas stream, which was 
amazing. <laughs> I loved that. I loved that custom level so much. Oh, I need to like remember not to move my head too much because then the camera has to like refocus and it goes a bit blurry. Um, let's see. Welcome Heavy Dream. Welcome Kate. I heart Google. Toflock and Lily. Welcome JJ Dreamer. Oh, thank you, Dealy Boy. I'm glad everyone has enjoyed Tomb Raider Remastered so much. I'm having so much fun playing through it. Oh, thank you, Lily. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. Susie, you haven't tried streaming? Yeah, it's it's scary. Like, the first couple of times I did it, I actually thought I was going to pass out, but... It's it's totally fine once you get used to it. You just have to have to do it a few times and like I said, I think I just need to get back into it and feel more comfortable. Oh, sorry you can't say stay, sir. I can't talk. Sorry you can't stay tough luck. Um but thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. Adam, what are you doing for St. Patrick's Day tomorrow? Um we're just doing like chill, a chill day. I avoid the city centre and pubs and stuff like that. So um, we're just going to be making some food at home, uh, watching a movie, probably watching one of the Harry Potters. And I might make those little sorting hat treats again that I made if you saw my Norway vlog. Um, and then we're just going to yeah make dinner and play a board game probably. So it's gonna be really, really fun. <laughs> Welcome Lily. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the background. I love, I love researching. I love researching Tomb Raider. Oh, we're rooting for you, thank you. Yeah, it's so nice to see so many in the chat. Thank you all for joining. You've been taking a break on the remasters. You got a promotion at your job. Congratulations, Emerald Raider, on your promotion. That's amazing. Um, Yeah, I totally get why the remasters have maybe taken a back seat for now. Um, yeah, getting a promotion is pretty exciting to focus on. The Ireland level in Chronicles was super spooky, yeah. I do like those. I wish they'd made them even spookier and creepier, though. I hope they bring Tomb Raider back to Ireland at some stage. You always wish to be in Ireland during St. Patrick's Day. Uh... You probably don't, you know. <laughs> I'm sure it's fun to come and visit, you know, as a tourist, but Irish people who live in Dublin, we're we're not a fan of it. It's it's absolute chaos. Um because, you know, people come here to enjoy it and get insanely drunk and there's just always vomit everywhere um rubbish everywhere the city it's like it's like the apocalypse happened <laughs> yeah it's not it's not great but i yeah, i'm sure it's fun if you're if you're partaking <laughs> good evening halit welcome thank you for joining Oh, you're a fan of you too. That's awesome. Yeah, my my fiance's dad is a huge U2 fan, so uh when he came to visit Ireland one time, he was like, I have to go see Bono's house. <laughs> Hello from France. Hello to you. Thank you so much for joining.
Oh, wow. It's an assistant manager position. Congratulations, Emerald Raider. That's awesome. I, I can safely say I have never been promoted to manager of anything. So that is so cool. That's really amazing. Welcome, Dara. Nice to see you. <laughs> You're a fan of pubs. <laughs> well, that's good then. You should come for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Ireland has so much more to offer than getting wasted. It does. It does. We've a lot. We've a lot of stuff here. A lot going on. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Claire. That's so lovely. Not the vomit and the rubbish. Yeah, it's. Oh, I don't even want to know how much they spend cleaning up after St. Patrick's Day. And well, there's vomit, rubbish, and urine everywhere as you can probably imagine. So yeah, it's it's not the best. I steer clear for the whole weekend <laughs> until everyone like calms down and goes home. Welcome, Broad. Nice to see you. That sounds awful. <laughs> it's Yeah, it's not great, to be honest. There are some lovely St. Patrick's Day celebrations and stuff, but I would suggest steering clear of the city centre if you don't like vomit and and urine. <laughs> okay, I'll stop talking about it now. This is just getting gross. Um, David, welcome. Celebrating with tea. That sounds good to me. What's the weather in Ireland? Rain, rain, rain. It's raining right now. <laughs> It's not that cold though, but it's it's raining. Oh, heavy dream. What about Marina? Yes, I'm obsessed with Marina. Uh yeah, like I like you two, but I wouldn't be like a huge fan fan of them, but I'm I'm a fan fan of of Marina for sure. Bonjour. <laughs> Would I go to New Orleans for Mardi Gras? Yes, I would love to. My, Me and my fiance actually have a plan to try and go to uh, New Orleans at some stage. So would love to do that. Okay. Oh, welcome Alchemist Days. <laughs> nice to see you. Abdullah, I actually just discovered that Ireland and Northern Ireland are two different places. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I would say 90% of people who aren't from like Ireland or England make that mistake. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, hundreds of years ago, the English invaded Ireland and took it over and all of that and we fought them and won the country back but only most of it so <laughs> so England basically said okay fine you can have 26 of your counties back but we're keeping the top six which at the time were the most like prosperous money-making ones um, so yeah, they kept like Northern Ireland, the top six counties, and that is part of the UK. And then the rest of Ireland became a republic, its own country. So yeah, there, there's, there's the history lesson <laughs> that you didn't ask for in this stream. Oh wow, thank you so much, Zanier, for the donation. That's so lovely. Thank you. Oh, welcome, Neptune. Nice to see you. Really glad you could join. <laughs> sounds St. Patrick's Day sounds like Rome during New Year's Eve. Yeah, I can imagine. Do I like Disney? I love Disney. I love Disney. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, Brud. Thank you so much. 
Thank you so much for the gifted memberships. That is so kind of you. Thank you so much. That is absolutely lovely. 10 memberships gifted. We're getting political, yeah. <laughs> We're getting political with the with the countries. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, bro. That was so lovely. I'm sure everyone who got gifted is super appreciative. Thank you, thank you so much. Right, so I think now we should probably start into the the game. I think most people are here. So um hopefully this works. And I can I can set this up. Give me a second now. That is the wrong game. Right. And oh jeez, what's that? No. Stop. Okay. So let me know how the sound levels are. Whoa, oh, why is that so small? Oh god. I tested this Hi, earlier and this didn't happen. What? Operations. My desk. Go ahead no, no, Nancy, stop. Right, we've got we've got a technical a technical issue. Welcome CB and John. Nice to see you guys. I'm having a bit of difficulty here. Uh, okay, let me try this. Is that working? The stress. I hate technology. Nope, that's just not working at all. No! <laughs> Why is it so tiny? <laughs> oh, sweet Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. lord. This is my center of operation settings hang on full screen oh sugar no oh oh yeah oh that fixed it didn't it and what's that okay that that brings it small again we've got full screen to full screen what okay that makes it small again don't do that full screen two okay i think that's good Yep, yeah, that is full screen. I've got the the kind of black around it. So actually, why is my square on the on the wrong side? My desk. Go ahead. Sorry guys, you can tell I'm so like so professional at streaming. <laughs> I'm so good at it. <laughs> full screen too. Thank you so much. Try not to get stressed. We'll try my best. Welcome, Harriet. <laughs> Welcome, Jasandro. Nice to see everyone. Yes, so I figured out full screen two now. Thank you so much, everyone. <sighs> okay. I will. I will get the hang of this. Awesome. Okay, I think I think we're ready to go now. And I've moved I've moved me, so I'm like facing the right way. Cause it is annoying. Hi, I'm I don't Nancy know. Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. We're experts. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. 
And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Awesome. I just didn't want to talk over Nancy there. So yeah, can you just let me know, can you hear Nancy talking okay and everything? Um, Cause it's a bit low for me. So I think I'm gonna adjust my sound. <laughs> You're not getting paid enough to worry about being professional. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do you not know this game? I've not played this game before myself. Welcome, Chris. But uh, we can hear it perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit for me. Cause it's a bit low. And then we'll do this. Yeah, I need to try and come up with a slightly more easier setup for streaming because once I have the game open, I can't do anything else and like adjust settings or streaming or anything so I need to I need to figure that out but it's it's fine for the moment we're we're all good Hi I'm Nancy Drew Great this okay yeah we don't Nancy we don't need desk. to hear it again Go ahead and pull Okay grand <laughs> so this is yeah the manual how to be a detective As always your mission is- I will. I already know how to play. Honestly, I have played most of these games before. I'm a bit obsessed with Nancy Drew. But let's read the case file to when just Kyler see Mallory what When Kyler Mallory called me from her home in London and asked me to be her maid of honor, I was a little reluctant. After all, I hadn't seen her since she stayed with us as an exchange student a couple of years ago. But when she told me the wedding is going to take place at an old family castle in Ireland, <laughs> how could I say no? The wedding will be very small, but Kyler still needs help with all the final preparations, which means she'd like me to arrive several days early. So I'm going to fly to Dublin, Ooh. rent a car, and meet Kyler at Castle Malloy. She warned me that the place is somewhat in need of repairs, whatever that means. And unfortunately, by the time I get there, it'll be night. But I've never been to Ireland before, and I've never even seen a real honest to goodness castle, let alone stayed in one. So the fact that it may be dark and run down just makes it more of an adventure. Aww. And you know me, whenever the question is who wants to go on an adventure, my answer is always, I do. <laughs> I like the pun. Okay, cool. So it's it's mad to me just hearing Nancy say, I've never been to a castle before because we have so many, so many castles here. Um, and when I say to people who aren't from Ireland that I'm getting married in a castle, they're like, oh my God, that's amazing. You're getting married in a castle. And I'm like, no, 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 everyone, everyone does it. It's, <laughs> it's very normal. <laughs> does Nancy start out with dual pistols? I don't think so, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so. Let's let's just get into the mystery. I'm really excited for this. What's that? Oh, we've got a phone card so Nancy can use her phone in Ireland, I guess. Pretty, pretty cool. Kyler Teagan Mallory of London and Matthew Willem, Will, Will, William Simmons of London request your presence to witness their exchange of matrimonial vows on the 1st of June at 1 o'clock. Location is Castle Malloy, Baylor, Ireland. Okay, let's go. I'm so excited. I'm going to go with Junior Detective, as always, because sometimes I do be needing the hints. These games are hard. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever played a game except for those few levels in Tomb Raider that set in Ireland. There's not many games set in Ireland, so I'm very excited about this. So your plane was on time, your luggage arrived, your rental car was waiting, everything went without a hitch? Yep, and according to Kyler's directions, I'm within two kilometers of Castle Malloy. Now stop worrying about me and get over to the Dunhills. What time is it there? Around two. The party just started. It's gonna go all day, so I've got plenty of time. Are you driving? Yes, Ned, I'm talking on my cell phone while I'm driving, but it's okay. There's absolutely no traffic. And I think I see the gates. I gotta go. Say hi to the Dunhills for me and have fun. Without you? Yeah, right. 
Take care, Nancy. Aww. Oh. I presume that was the ghost. What was that? Am I supposed to move or do something? Oh, okay. What is that? It's a creepy doll. No. Oh, a sheep. Oh, that's very normal. There's always sheep wandering around. <laughs> He's buying at us. Oh, I love sheep. Although, if you've ever been walking along a country road and had a whole field of sheep turn and look at you at the same time, you will know true fear. It is really unnerving when that happens. <laughs> I already like this game. Yeah. Welcome, Connor. Nice to see you. Sorry, it'll take me a while to get used to again playing and keeping up with the chat. <laughs> this game seems unique. Yeah, the Nancy Drew games, they're always a bit silly, um, but that's why... That's why I love them. So yeah, this will be a mystery with clues and puzzles. So uh, I might need your help to solve some of them. So let's go. Okay. Um, okay, so where am I going? Into the castle, I presume. But fair play to Nancy for, for driving on the left. I'm sure she's used to driving on the right. Oh, I, uh, um, hello, I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here for the wedding. The wedding's been called off. So go on back to where you come from. No, wait, please. My car's in the ditch by the gate. I can't go anywhere. Walk down the road to the inn, then. Give me your keys, and I'll see to your car in the morning. I left the keys in the car. Can I at least talk to Kyler? She's sleeping. What kind no of way. No way, I came all the that? way from the States. You cannot stay here. Go to the inn, I said. <laughs> now off with you. Please, can I come in just for a minute? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Well, be Jesus, I didn't expect anything else except an accent like that, I have to say. <laughs> Irish people don't talk like that. It's so funny. <laughs> oh my god, I need to I need to calm down. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I did not like that accent at all. That felt like a mockery. A mockery of my culture. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't great. Okay, and you can totally tell that it's just probably an American voice actor just doing an Irish accent. <laughs> because it sounds very leprechaun, it does. It's very, very funny. Okay, so what did he say? We had to go back to the car and get the car keys, was it? I need to pay more attention. I'm getting distracted. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to say actually, for anybody who doesn't know, Nancy Drew is an amateur teenage detective. So she gets hired by a lot of people to, um, yeah, just solve mysteries, sometimes solve crimes and murders as well. So, okay, well, I can't go into the car to get the keys, so let's see the checklist. Go to the inn like the guy at the door of the castle said and see if I can stay there. Check. Oh, okay. Sorry, I missed that with his terrible accent. I wasn't listening. I was not listening at all. Right, okay, this is the wrong, the wrong way. Baylor. That's what he said, isn't it? Oh yeah. The screaming banshee. Of course. <laughs> of course. I actually have a very funny story. Um 
when me and my fiance first started going out together um one night uh, I got woken up in the middle of the night by this high-pitched shrieking and I completely freaked out and my fiance was going what like what is it and I said oh my god I think I just heard a banshee and the legend is if you hear like a banshee scream in the middle of the night uh someone you know is going to die and I was completely freaking out um and then we realized it was a fox because apparently foxes scream really loud <laughs> I 100% was convinced it was a banshee <laughs> okay anyway so oh we've got a phone what is in here welcome to leprechaun <laughs> Welcome to Leprechaun Telephone Service. You have to give it to the developers. They went all out with this Ireland theme. Please insert your calling card. Oh, okay, so this is how I call friends and stuff. Right, let's go in here. No vacancy. Ah, for flip. Be right with you, miss. Is everyone gonna speak like a leprechaun? This is hilarious. You see. If I played this game on my own, I probably wouldn't have been able to get through it. But playing it on stream is just so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. So darts away. Oh, these are some games we can play. Sometimes the games are optional and then sometimes you have to play them to win objects that you need. So, where is he? Where am I supposed to go? Where is he gone? Where is anyone? That's very strange. <laughs> There's no one in here. What's going on? Am I supposed to play these games? Insert one token. Well, I can't because I've not got tokens, have I? No, all I've got is a creepy doll, my case file, the wedding invite, and my call card. Oh, let's check the checklist. The inn is full, so go back to the castle. Check. Okay. And okay, yeah, I think we have to play and win those games. Okay, back to the castle we go. To this delightful leprechaun man. Kate, you've heard of foxes scream, it's terrifying. It is! I genuinely thought that's a banshee. There's no way. It's not. <laughs> Absolutely was convinced. It's so, it's so bad, it's good, yeah. <laughs> this game really is. It's brilliant. Tyler, can you hear me? Can anyone hear me? I would just like to get into the flipping castle. Hello, the inn doesn't have any rooms. Hello? Okay, how are we supposed to get in here now? I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to stay here tonight, okay? <laughs> He's just full on ignoring us. Maybe we should call, what's her name, Kyler? Yeah, okay, maybe we should call, go back to the telephone booth and call Kyler and be like your butler or whoever the hell he is, is being an arsehole. Foxes or coyotes? Foxes. We luckily don't have coyotes in Ireland. We have nothing dangerous here. So it's very nice. <laughs> very safe. Okay, let's, let's try and call Kyler and see if we can get this straightened out. 
We don't have her number. Well, flippity flip. Okay, let's just call Ned and see if he says anything. Hi, this is Ned. I can't answer the phone right now, so either leave me a message or just call me back. Bye. Hi, Ned. It's me. Just checking in from the Emerald Isle. Call you later. Bye. Hi. If you're trying to reach Bess Marvin or her super cool cousin, George Vane, you're out of luck because neither of us can pick up right now. But be sure to leave a message or call back, okay? Because you know what they say. Your call is very important to us. <laughs> Hi, guys. Just wanted to see what's going on there and tell you what's going on here. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye. Okay. So, our boyfriend and our best friends are useless. What are we supposed to I haven't done that. do now? Find a way to stay for the night. Okay, maybe I didn't try... Maybe I didn't try hard enough. <laughs> this is where dual pistols would come in handy. <laughs> Definitely. Could just shoot my way in. Why is he being such an arse? I don't understand. Okay, we cannot go. We can't go to the side. We can't go anywhere else. Oh, over here. <gasps> Can we break a window? Yes, let's break a window. Oh, <gasps> This is very risque for Nancy. Am I throwing them too high? Yeah. Oh. Am I trying to break it? Or just get his attention. Blink. Ah, there we go. Okay, now are we going to be let in? Death, are you now? I told you, you cannot be staying here. Oh, what are you doing? That's Nancy Drew, my maid of honor. Let her in. Yikes. Matt's disappeared? How can somebody you came all the way out here with to marry just disappear? Oh. He hasn't disappeared for good. You have to understand, Matt's a bit of a prankster, and the wedding is still days away. He disappeared as a prank? He disappeared as a prank? He adores getting people in a tizzy. I do think he's pushing the envelope this time, but he'll show up. Mind you, it may not be till I've started down the aisle, but he'll show. Saying Jeez. he just wanted to make this a wedding no one shall ever forget. Uh. Yeah. Why did that man at the door tell me the wedding was off? That was the caretaker, Donald Delaney. Not Donald, mind you. There's no D at the end, so it's pronounced Donald. No, it's that's not. That's the way you're supposed to spell it. Which is to say, that's the way the Irish spell it. Proud of his oh. heritage, huh? Indeed. Which would be tolerable if his love for the Irish wasn't accompanied by an abiding distaste for the British. Now, he rather likes me, but that's only because he considers me to be Irish, since I'm directly related to the man who used to own this place. When it comes to my British fiancé, Donal detests him. Which is why he was so quick to tell you the wedding's off. He wants it to be off. He came right out and said, if I am to be married in Castle Malloy, it simply must be to an Irishman. Said my marrying a Brit would upset the fairy people or whatever he calls them. Um, okay, so... <laughs> this is a bit racist, not <laughs> Like, okay, firstly, she's saying his name wrong. His name is Donal. That's how the Irish pronounce it. No, it's not. It's Donal. <laughs> it's pronounced Donal. Not Donal. Not Donal. Donal. <laughs> and it's an Irish name. That always drives me insane. Oh, welcome, Malou. Nice to see you. Um, Yeah, that always drives me insane. 
when people laugh and make fun of Irish names, they're in a different language. <laughs> of course, pronouncing them in English is not easy. They're literally in a different language, the Irish language. Anyway, so yeah, that was a bit rude. And she's saying his name wrong. That's going to annoy me for the entire game. But also, she was like, oh yeah, it's so annoying the way he has a problem with the, with the English. Like, what we just discussed about the country, the, the, the splitting. I personally, by the way, do not have a problem and I do not condone, you know, being petty about things that happened hundreds and hundreds of years ago. I feel like we can be grown ups and move on. But the way she's just so, I don't know, dismissive about it or something, it's just a bit rude. Anyway, that's my thoughts. <laughs> the amount of disrespect to Irish and British people, yeah. I agree. That was that was very disrespectful. <laughs> oh my god. She pronounces her own name wrong. <laughs> yeah, you can tell. You can tell zero research was actually done with an Irish person. Or, a, or an English person present for this. I don't think this game was developed in Ireland. I don't think so either. Oh my god. Nancy Drew usually has very racist stereotypes, especially the older ones. Yeah, I mean, I'm just getting offended because it's my country. I'm sure there's other ones where people are watching it going oh my god that's not that's not true at all oh it's so funny though I'm, ha I'm having a really good time <laughs> laughing at this oh my god okay so who is Donal it's did she say is he like I know he's mad that she's marrying it British guy, whatever, who the hell cares? Um, but who like is he related? Does he own the castle? Did I miss that bit? I have the same issue with my name being a Sean spelt that way, comes with challenges. Yeah. One of my friends is called Neve N I A M H and she lives in England and um yeah. She she gets a lot of questions about that one. People are like, what is this? How is it pronounced? Oh my god. <sighs> Donal was the guy who answered the door. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's let's move on. Right. So, you sure the wedding shouldn't be at least postponed? Do you have any idea where Matt disappeared to? Do you have any idea where Matt disappeared to? No, but I know he didn't go far. The fact is, sometimes I hear him. You know, his voice. It's very faint and muffled. But it sounds like he's calling to me, saying things I can't quite make out, teasing me the lout. So I know he's somewhere close by. He'll be here for the wedding. I'd stake my life on it. Of course, I remember well your penchant for solving mysteries. So if you want to give this one a go, by all means do. You could start in the nursery. It's down the hall. That's where Matt had set up his cot and was spending most of his time. Find him, Nancy. Having my maid of honor ruin this silly vanishing trick of his would teach him a lesson he sorely needs. Uh. Okay, let's let's tell her about the car. Someone ran out in front well. of my car on my way here and caused me to drive into a ditch. Are you all right? Me, I'm fine. My car, myself, um, uh, not so good. 
And I'm pretty sure whomever I saw dropped this. Looks like some kind of homemade doll. The clothes. It looks like Matt. And that's his ring. What did the person who dropped this look like? I didn't really get a good look. It was dark and I was distracted and it moved so fast. Frankly, I'm not even sure if what I saw was a person. Denal, the caretaker, when we realized Matt was gone, straight away Denal claimed Matt had been kidnapped by fairies, which is of course utterly ridiculous. It was probably Matt himself you saw, tricked out in some costume and leaving that doll behind just to confound us. Well, I do hope he's enjoying himself, because as soon as we're married, that will be that. No more practical jokes. Ever. Ooh, okay. And also, don't be laughing at fairies. They're no laughing matter. Fairies are serious business. Um... Where does Mr. Delaney live? Is that Donal? Right, okay. I'd better get to work. Let, let's go and have a look I around. I spent living with you, your dad, and Hannah. And Togo, of course. That was a very happy time for me, Nancy. I can't tell you how thrilled I am you're here. I get to see you again, and I get to see Ireland? <laughs> I'm the one who's thrilled, believe me. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. I'm your maid of honor, remember? I haven't forgotten. Okay. I don't know, being her maid of honor seems... Seems more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. This reminds me of the French accents from Angel of Darkness. <laughs> yeah. So bad. Don't be messing with the fairies. Definitely. <laughs> Welcome, Tant. Nice to see you. Fairies are not to be messed with. They're very serious. Never disturb a fairy fort. You don't want to be messing with that. Right. Oh, there's stuff over here. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, I presume this is some kind of puzzle that we'll need to find a clue for. Oh, we just found the clue. <laughs> Iron. Okay. Each represent a metal. Right. Uh, I'm going to come back to that because that seems like a lot of brain power for right now. And I'm still Whoa, really that giddy. That would have been quite a fall. Oh my god, she wasn't joking when she said the castle was in a bit of disrepair. There's no flipping... There's no flipping stairs or wall! This does not seem up to health and safety. Right, let's find this nursery then. Where, um... What's his face? Has his cock. Woo! Okay. Why are there trees growing in? Castles. Oh, castles don't look like this in Ireland. Oh. Suzanne needs to play Stray. Oh, yeah, the one with the cats. That would be so cute. Um, okay. Focus. Oh! Left to move me up and down, right to circle round and round. Oh, so I presume we have to make this picture. Okay, um...
Oh, we can't move the middle one. Okay, that changes everything. that one two heads there for a second that is not right uh, no the oh this one has two heads Okay, I thought this puzzle was going to be easy. Clearly, I was wrong. <laughs> Clearly, I was incorrect. Oh, okay. No, that's still got two heads, though. Hmm. No, now that's got two bodies. <laughs> God. We're going to spend the whole stream doing this puzzle. Welcome, Veronica. Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, let me try... Try something else. Okay. Uh... Nope. Hmm. I don't know why I'm finding this puzzle so hard. If anyone says because I'm stupid, that's not funny. It's true, but not funny. Um, what? Green. Okay. To just keep trying them in different places until it works out. I guess. Oh, okay. Hang on. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. There's only these two that aren't right. So close. <sighs> Welcome, Stefan. Oh, there's a bit of a delay with the chat coming through. So I'm not sure what your <laughs> what your directions mean. If this was me, he'd come back next week and I'd still be doing it. <laughs> um, uh, oh no, why did I do that? No. Okay, I'm gonna come back to it. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm getting impatient, I want to explore. I'll come back to it. 
Okay, we can push some of these. I presume we have to find like a pattern to push them in or something. Oh, is this where the fiance was sleeping? Evil returns to the evildoer. All right, okay. Oh, hang on. Sorry, couldn't see my shamrock anymore. It's okay. <laughs> uh, this is creepy. Why on earth are they getting married here? This place is horrible. <gasps> is that a token to play the games? Maybe. <laughs> Oh, does a the doll oh we need to find more dolls. Okay. That is really creepy. Truth speaks even through the tongue. What does that say? Weak dead. Okay, this is all very strange, isn't it? Well, I mean, look, her hubby is not there, so... I'm 100% into this game. Me too. I love these games. I think they're fun. They're a bit of fun silliness. Welcome, Ian. Welcome to the stream. Nancy has weird friends. I can't she really quite does. get there from here. Oh, the stairs is missing. <laughs> the bad news, you were too badly injured in the fall to be made of honour. Oops, I have made a fatal error. Try again. Okay, sorry. I thought I could jump it. Nancy's athletic. I guess we go down then. Oh, whoa. Look at this. Oh, there is no wall. Why are they getting married here? This is awful. There are so many lovely castles in Ireland. Right. We can't, there's nothing else there. That's beautiful though. It's a really beautiful view. Um. It. I shouldn't go messing with this without permission. Why not? We're made of honor and we're looking for her husband. I think we can mess with stuff. Right. There's been a whole lot of nothing so far. Oh, we're back outside. Right, I'm so confused as to what we're- Oh! Is that our husband? Hi, you must be Nancy Drew. I'm Kit Foley, Matt's best friend. Ignore the eye if you can. Walked into a door the other day. Looks worse than it feels. I'm a bit surprised you're still here, given the circumstances. Uh... What circumstances? I'm not sure I fully understand the circumstances yet. That's because you've only heard Kyler's version of what's going on. Or worse, that Daffy Caretaker's version. Either way, it's unlikely you've heard the truth. The truth being... Matt isn't playing a practical joke. And he hasn't been kidnapped by fairies. He got cold feet and left. It's as simple as that. Yeah, are you sure? Are you sure? Well, Matt didn't come out and tell me he was leaving. But hey... I am his best friend. I know him better than anybody. I mean, he loves Kyler, but she can be a handful. And he's no pushover either. Their relationship is so tempestuous, it scares him. Oh, yeah. She thinks once he makes a real commitment, everything will be fine. But he's not so sure. Uh -oh. So he bailed. Yeah. <laughs> never, never get married or have a baby to fix issues. It's not going to fix it. <laughs> 
A <laughs> fairy got him. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think the possibility that he walked out on her has even occurred to her. She's in a raging state of denial, and I, for one, don't see any harm in allowing her to stay that way. I seriously doubt he walked out on her for good. It's just that for Matt, marriage is way too much, way too soon. Yeah, how come you sound American? How come you sound so American? Because I am American. My father's VP of International Sales for Krollmeister Incorporated. The company transferred him to London 15 years ago. I've pretty much lived there ever since. I just can't seem to pick up the accent. Uh, it looks like you're drawing something. Are you an artist? Me? Not hardly. I'm with a real estate development company. These are just preliminary sketches for a couple of projects we're working on. In other words, I'm doing homework. Have you ever developed a project in Ireland? No, but it's just a matter of time. Especially if we got our hands on a tract of land like the one this castle sits on. Ocean view, easy commute to Donegal, bedrock foundation, readily accessible groundwater. That bog's a bit problematic, but a little sand, a little gravel, a little landscaping, voila! A cluster of six, maybe eight luxury homes amid a park-like setting that would sell like lightning. That sounds a bit suspicious, doesn't it? That sounds a bit like maybe motive <laughs> to make something bad happen here. He wants the land to build on. And also his pronunciation of Donegal was atrocious. Absolutely <laughs> atrocious. When or how did you realize that Matt had disappeared? Kyler and I went for a walk, came back, and the next thing I knew, Kyler was saying Matt was nowhere to be found. Where did you last see him? In the nursery. He always seemed to be in the nursery fiddling with things. Whenever I'd tease him about it, he'd always give me this impish little grin like he was up to something. When I checked the nursery and saw that Matt's suitcase and backpack were gone, it finally dawned on me that he had left and he wasn't coming back. Of course, by that time, Kyler had convinced herself that he was simply playing one of his practical jokes, and I couldn't bring myself to burst her bubble, so I didn't. Hmm. Do you think there's maybe a secret passageway in the nursery? <laughs> Matt's voice actor refused to put on a bad Irish accent, and the developers just went with it. Yeah, I'm glad, to be honest. I couldn't... I couldn't take any more... I don't trust him. Yeah, he's a bit suspicious, isn't he? He's a little bit... suspicious. <laughs> it wouldn't be right without an American butchering the Irish names. <laughs> His face is bizarre. Yeah, I'm curious about where he got this black eye. He gave the old walked into a door excuse. I'm wondering if he got that fighting the groom or something to like kidnap him. He's suspicious. Okay, he's on my list. Um. Oh, let's ask him. Can we borrow his lantern? Do Why not? Do you think I could borrow your lantern? No, I don't. Sorry. Jesus, that was flipping rude, wasn't it? Time for me to scoot. See ya. Very right, cheek of him. We asked I him very I can't just nicely. go snooping around. Not with Kit right there. Okay, so we need to get rid of him. Somehow, what's this? Madame Isabel, that's creepy. Oh, I have a coin, hang on. Get... I have a, I have a coin. Why can't I use, why can't I use my coin? Excuse me. Maybe it's special. Maybe it's a different type of coin. Oh, look. Oh, I need three. Is that why there's a three there? I need three. Okay. Always has to be difficult. Did I just go outside again? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Getting disorientated. Right. So, I don't think there's anything else interesting in here. I presume we need to find a way to get up that stairs. Right, let me try this. This box again. Okay, so he needs 
He needs a purple torso. Yeah, okay, two purple torsos. That's not gonna work. Jesus, why is this so hard? <laughs> why is this so hard? No, now he's got two heads again. Okay. There we go. No. Okay, so that combo is not gonna work. Ooh, okay. Hmm. That combo's not gonna work too green beside each other. No, see, now he's gonna have no legs. He's gonna have no legs. He's got nothing. Aha, okay. Oh, so close. Oh no, he's got two heads. Why has he got two heads? Mm. Oh my god, why is this so hard? <laughs> it looks really hard, thank you, because I feel very stupid. I feel very stupid right now. <laughs> Leave the corners for later. Oh! Okay, yeah, so we'll do... Try and match up these four first and then... But it's getting these ones in the right order so that they make sense to slot the corners in. Okay, I'm really going to focus now and do this. not working for me. No. Nope. Right. Which one has like the least amount of options? I think the maybe this one. So it needs a head here. Oh wait, there's actually a lot of a lot of different heads. There's a there's very few green heads, actually. There's only two green heads. Oh, okay. So now we've something to work off. So it's either this or this one here. And actually, both create the same result. So let's go with this. Okay, so that one's there. And then we've got green that still matches. Then we need a green head and a blue head. Do we have that? No, we don't have that. So then this one's wrong. 
So a, a red body and a blue head. Oh, we have it, but it's the wrong way. Come on. We have it. Mm. Okay, so that's not going to work. Um, okay. Blue head, blue head. No, that doesn't work either. Okay, so this one then needs to change. This one here. So we need green and purple. Oh, we have two different options for that. We have green and purple, green and purple. Green and purple, green and purple, purple. Okay, let's go with this. Hang on, if we switch this. I feel like I'm making progress and then I realize I'm not. <laughs> I think this might have to be a purple. But we don't have that with a purple. Am I doing like this right at all? We're all rubbish at this. <laughs> Welcome, Matthias. Nice to see you. The bagpipe is nice in the background. Yeah, the bagpipes are really nice. Welcome, Nickel. The music reminds you of Harry Potter games. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really nice. Okay, so I felt like I was on a roll there. And now I've gotten stuck again. So it's either this, this or this. And then there's only one body option there. Okay, but I think we need blue bodies. So that gives blue and green, blue, red, blue, red, blue, blue and green. Do we have a, see we don't have a green head and a blue head. So I keep getting stuck. The tile at 12 o'clock should have green bum on the left. Okay, so 12 o'clock should have a green bum on the left. Oh, okay. Green bum, green bum. Oh, a purple head on top. Oh. Oh, Jesus, I have it the wrong way around. God, I'm stupid. Right. Thank you for that. <laughs> I'm just going to create my own two-headed... There I go again. My own two-headed... Whatever this is. Is this a weasel? Okay, there we go. So, purple... Blue body, blue head. We don't have that. So I've done it again. I've done... <laughs> I've literally done it again. What is wrong with me? No, okay. Um... Why 
is this impossible? <laughs> The atmosphere is strong except for the accent, <laughs> yeah. The idea with counting was good. Five blue bodies, three blue heads. Yeah. Okay, so... And this can't be right because we don't have one that fits here. Green bum on the left. Here? The famous two-headed otter. Green bum on the left. Where? Uh, what's written around the puzzle? Left to move me up and down. So that's like to pick it up. And then right is to turn it round. Oh! We can turn them like this as well. Oh my god. Okay. Great. Uh, I'm stupid. But now 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 we can get somewhere. Okay. So, what am I doing? E Okay. No. Wrong way around, okay. No, they're the wrong way around as well. Okay, so we've got three options for the the blue head. Move the top left to the top middle. Okay. Uh, right. Ah, okay. No, nope. stay calm. We can do this. Ha ha. Okay. Do we have anything that fits that? No, we don't. Uh, okay. My God. Left, middle. To top, middle, and turn. Sorry guys, the chat is like a bit behind me coming through. <laughs> Next stream is me speed running this puzzle. I don't think so. Somehow I do not think so. Hang on. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, we're almost. We're very close now. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. How do I fix it? Left bottom, welcome Aurora. Welcome Lay as well. So, wait, someone's saying left, bottom, to top, middle. Uh, 
Oh. Yeah? Right bottom to top middle. <laughs> you can do it, thank you. Uh, oh, okay. You need a, a head there. A head there. No, it's gone again. <laughs> Start with the left one. There's only three blue heads. Okay, so that one goes up there then. So then let's try this one. Top middle is correct. Okay, that's correct. Oh, so the the ones top left and top middle are correct. <laughs> my brain is melting. So is mine. So is mine. Okay, so these two are correct. So I have to change this one. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We did it everyone, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for your help. Okay, so we got a cog. Whatever, whatever that's gonna be for. Right, so, oh. What's what that? What is that? Okay, oh, is that the stone that the crow dropped? <gasps> Are these the fiance's glasses? Does a fiancé wear glasses? Let's have a look at that wedding invite. He doesn't have glasses on. But... Okay, it looks like someone was dragged away. Teamwork, yeah. That was really fun, thanks guys. <laughs> but that's why I love puzzle games like this on stream as well. Because it's like fun to solve them together. I think, anyway. Because I like puzzles. Oh, there's another doll. That's so creepy. Can we pick that up? Okay. So I do think we need to get dolls before we come back here. We've found a few more clues now. Nancy, splendid timing. I just thought of something you can do for me. There's an old-fashioned printing press downstairs. Have you seen it? It's so big, it's pretty hard to miss. It came with the castle. My great uncle, Grandpapa's brother, was some sort of mad inventor. Had all sorts of gizmos and gadgets and machinery lying around. Anyway, when I saw the printer, I told Matt, why not save some money and print the programs for the wedding right here? Uh, problem is, Matt failed to get them done before he turned into the merry prankster. And since I have the mechanical aptitude of a bacterium, <laughs> would you mind finishing the job for me? You'd only have to print three more sheets. And the plate, the ink, the paper, everything you need is right there. No problem. Thank you, Nancy. You're the best. You only need to do three more sheets and you can't do them yourself. Right. Oh, we found a book on Zodiac constellations. Okay. Oh. I probably shouldn't put a large disc on top of a small one. Oh. Sorry. Oh, is this like a puzzle to move them all or something? No, I need that. Ooh, 
Oof, okay. This is tricky. Oh wow, thank you so much CB. For 10 gifted memberships, that's amazing. Oh my god, you guys are so amazing and generous. You're lovely. Welcome Samantha, welcome Georgia, Martin, Amanda, Big Joe, Boss Muffin, Kingdom, Nastagas, G Gorgonzala. Welcome to you all, thank you for joining. Joining as I struggle. Struggle to solve these puzzles. Um. Right. So I presume we're supposed to move. Oh, I see. Are we supposed to be moving all of these from here to here? But you can put a bigger one on top of a smaller one so we have to keep swapping them over okay how do i move this one is so difficult Ooh. okay sorry um we need to get all the other ones into the middle one so I can move that to there. time consuming. I'm so invested now though, I have to, I have to do this. Yes! I got a puzzle. <laughs> This'll come in handy. Oh, I got my own lantern. Great, so I don't need to borrow hit the assholes one then. Grand. Do you know, even if he wanted to lend us his lantern, I I wouldn't have wanted it anyway. He was so flipping rude. Right. Thanks, CB. That's so awesome. Oh my god. You guys are the actual best. I feel... I'm gonna get a little bit soppy, but... I genuinely feel so lucky to have such an amazing, um, such an amazing community on here. You're all the nicest. Okay, I'm gonna move on before I cry. <laughs> Go back to Kit and give him another black eye now. <laughs> I feel like I should. Right, this puzzle feels a bit. I don't know, it feels a bit like like I'm still missing some info because I know all of these equal a type of iron using this, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Am I supposed to make them all balance? Okay, that one's so super heavy. Maybe the people here. Oh. Hmm. The. Okay, these are 
super light. There's no point in me even looking up the types of metal because I don't know how much different types of metal weigh. I like your company, Suzanne. So genuine and pure. Oh my god, that's so lovely. The guys, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> You'll have to read a lot of names in the next video. <laughs> oh, thank you. Kit equals killer in training. Do you think that's an Easter egg? I think Kit's very suspicious. Yeah. I, I don't get the logic of some of these puzzles. It's like, why would someone have this in their house? But, oh well. Okay, we'll try and make it balanced because I'm assuming that's what we're supposed to, supposed to do. <gasps> Is that not balanced? That's balanced. Or do I need one more? Do I need one more? I know it's slightly off balance though. Hmm. The nope. That created chaos. I do feel like maybe we're missing one. So, okay, I'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Oh, her suitcase. Her suitcases are there. Or are they ours? Our suitcase. Where are we sleeping? I thought we were supposed to... To be going to bed. All right, okay. No, no, we're not going here again. Right, okay, so I think maybe what we should do is go, geez, is go back to the pub maybe and see what's going on there. Is he still there? Yeah, look at him still being there, being suspicious. Yeah, no, I don't like him one bit now, I have to say. Don't like him one bit. Ooh! Where are those lights in the tower coming from? I don't know. Are we supposed to go up to the tower? Hmm. Okay, sure, we'll have a look when we're back from the the village. Oh look at me with my little lantern. So cool. That sound was weird. Yeah. I'm not sure what that was. And also why is our car still just there? What's that? Can I pick that up? Is that another doll? Oh crap. I went here by accident. Hang on. I wanted to... I wanted to see... If I could um, pick that up, that looks like a doll. Oh. Okay, these might be something for later. Good to keep in mind. Oh, <gasps> it's a puzzle. I miss this as a puzzle. Okay. Oh, I used to love these when I was a kid. I had so many of these. I remember I had one that had frogs on it. it was so fun. Okay, oh, I presume the other one tells us what it's supposed to look like. Can I look at the other one again? Okay. So there's like big twirly thing, smaller twirly thing, and then two dragons. 
Okay, big, so big twirly thing. Let's start from the bottom. Let's, let's do this orderly. Right, I think that goes there. And then down here. Oh, there it's up there. Come on now. Okay, that looks right. And then uh, I think this one goes in the corner. I think I got the bottom done. Oh, and that one actually goes there. <clears throat> that was a happy coincidence. Right. That one goes on the side then. And then those two, these two go in the middle, I think. So let's try and move this over. to the sheep in the background <laughs> oh good night Chris thank you so much for joining <laughs> sea dragons see at the bottom left and right <laughs> looks Celtic yeah this is I think this is definitely a, a Celtic um, design Oh, Ooh, okay, we got it. Oh, thank you so much, Malou. Oh, that's so generous. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're so nice. I will have a coffee. Thank you. The music is hauntingly beautiful. It really is. It is lovely. I know I was complaining about them pronouncing the names and stuff. But it's actually quite a fun game. I was only joking about it being racist as well. I like to be a little bit dramatic sometimes, you know. What's life without a bit of drama? Um, yes, okay, that goes there. And... Um... Hmm, how am I going to do this now? the wrong way around. <laughs> uh, right. Aha! Okay, I think I got it. Yes, okay. We're almost there. this. I'm missing a piece. 
Oh, sure, I have to be Mr. Peace to do the puzzle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we all love some drama. Thank you. Got to be a little bit dramatic sometimes. Oh. There. It's done. Am I supposed to find a missing tile? To go with that? I guess so. But that's correct, isn't it? Hmm. Why is it cut off there, though? Hmm. I'm. Oh, okay. These are just the wrong way around now. again oh okay okay I really need to focus now do this properly Oh, this is so painful. There's always one wrong. Suzanne's super focused. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Okay, these two. Okay, these two are correct. What I need to get these two swapped. Okay, so I have them the right way to go like backwards 
and then if we go backwards here but then these need to be swapped I get this. Okay, so we need that one to go first and be followed. Okay, there we go. And then we need these to be swapped the opposite way around. by the devil himself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you admire my patience. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just so annoyed. I'm like, why doesn't this... Why doesn't this work out? I've tried it so much. Right, let's, let's move on for a minute and come back to it. Because... Oh no, it all reset. Oh, flip you actually flip you. I'm not dealing with this now. I swear though, that's a doll. Right, okay. Let's just let's just go to the inn. I cannot cope with that <laughs> anymore. Oh, oh it's the caretaker. So you're not so keen on staying at the castle after all then. <sighs> oh Kyler wants me to find Matt for her. Come to me for a bit of aid and advice, did you? Well, I've got none to give. Not till I got the day's troubles behind me and a crow's nest in front of me. Oh my god, I can't breathe! <laughs> Who thought that accent was a good idea? <laughs> I am 100% getting this game. Enjoy, it's hilarious. He is my favorite character. <laughs> Welcome Lone Star, sounds like a mini me. Oh God, I hope that's not what I sound like. With the flipping fake accent, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Matthias, thank you so much. That's so generous. That's lovely, thank you. So nice. I hope <laughs> I hope you guys are having fun. This is so ridiculous, but so funny. Uh let's just say ha. Huh? Huh? The mix maid suddenly took ill, leaving poor Seamus on his own, running back and forth, trying to mix and serve at the same time. I ordered soon as I walked in, yet here I sit, dying of thirst. I'll do no talking till I get me crow's nest. And there's the sorry truth of the matter. But now, were some spry and spunky lass to lend poor Seamus a hand by taking over the mixin' for a while, that would surely speed the plow. Okay. Yeah, Irish people don't talk like that. <laughs> what is he even on about? Oh yeah, top of the morning to you. Should they might as well have thrown that in. Top of the morning. I literally can't. 
Have you seen Darby O'Gill and the Little People? No, actually. <laughs> this is disrespectful to the Irish. <laughs> I'm outraged. Where's my pot of gold? <laughs> he sounds like he's from Minnesota. <laughs> Oh my god, so funny. Okay, so yeah, I guess we have to help out the the bartender. Let's do that. What's a what's a crow's Sounds nest? Sounds good to me. I'll see to it you get your crow's whatever. ASAP. Gonna play mix made for a while, are ya? Well, here's what you're to do. I'll take the orders and put the tickets up here. Each ticket will have no more than two drinks on it. And to save time, I draw little pictures instead of writing out their names. The mixin' book will tell you which little picture stands for what drink. It'll also tell you what's in each drink and how to make each drink. Now, to pour something, put the silver mixin' glass under either the juice tap or the beer tap. Then, press whatever button the mixin' book tells you to press. The book will also tell you how many times to press it. If the drink needs blending, you'll see a picture of a blender at the top of the column in the book. You're to put the solid ingredients into the blender first, then pour whatever's in the mixing glass into the blender. Then press the red button, and when the blending's done, just reach under the counter and find the serving glass that's pictured in the book. Put the serving glass on the grey mat and pour everything from the blender into the serving glass. If the drink doesn't need blending, just find the right serving glass, put it on the grey mat, and pour everything you've poured into the mixing glass into the serving glass. Then, add anything else the book tells you to add, put the serving glass on the tray to the right of the ticket it goes to, and start fixing the next drink. Soon as you've made all the drinks on a ticket, ring the bell and I'll serve them up. Just remember, if the orders start coming thick and fast and the tickets start piling up, you're to make the drinks on the ticket closest to the bell first. Now you'll be making no mistakes, I'm sure. But if you do, just toss the glass into the rubbish bin down there to the right and start over. Mind you, lass, you must do the mixing fast and proper. The quicker you mix, the more tips you'll be keeping. To work with you now. What? What? <laughs> Why is there so many instructions? D what the... Oh, I'm absolutely panicking now. <laughs> Sounds like work. Yeah, do you guys remember what happened when I worked in that coffee shop? In Chilla's Art? This is gonna be... <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be... Uh, difficult. Okay, so a crow's nest. This kind of glass. With a lime. Go in there. Okay, maybe not. With, oh, orange. And uh, what is that? A tomato? I don't know. A tomato with this. Would you take the freaking lime? <sighs> I did it right though. I put the... I put the lime. Why won't you take them? Wait, does it have to be blended? Oh, I missed that bit. If it's got ice, does it have to be blended? Okay, the lime won't go into the blender. Oh, okay. I think I made a drink. Right, what's the next one? An afterglow. That cup with orange, tomato and pineapple. Oh, sorry. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. That's it. Go on the tray. Go on the tray. It won't go on the tray. Hello, excuse me. I put I put 
everything in it. What is that? That's ice cream. That doesn't go there. Go on the tray! Okay, I'm absolutely panicking now. I am. <laughs> I am not doing well with this. Right, okay, let, let's try it again. Maybe I did it wrong. Okay, so four orange. One, two, three, four. A tomato and a pineapple. One, two, three, four. That's it, that should be that drink done. <laughs> the mouse is being clicked to death. <laughs> Suzanne should be a bartender, I absolutely should not. What am I doing wrong? I thought I did the, I thought I did it right. Am I supposed, am I supposed to put it in here? Okay, sorry, no, I've made these drinks wrong. Okay, let, let me do this again. I'm getting no tips, I'm getting no tips, but you know what, we don't really tip in Ireland, so it's fine. Um, right, okay, so I was... <laughs> one, 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 two, three, four. That goes in there. Okay. Blend the ice. And put on me lying and then this is one two three four one one two three four pour that in and that should be done that order wasn't right it was too you lying so and so okay so i got the first drink wrong he's a liar that drink is correct Do not accept that. Right. One, two, three, four. Maybe I'm not supposed to blend the ice. Do we just feck the ice in? Oh, okay. I was trying to be too good. Too good at my job, clearly. <laughs> He's so rude. He is. Irish people don't behave like that. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I have to I have to work faster so I can get my tips. Okay, that's that's easy. We've just oh we put do I put this under excuse me? How do I get that out? How do I get Gimme the Gimme the beer Would you go under? It says just pour the beer into the cup. That's literally what I'm trying to do. Suzanne is pissed off. Suzanne is pissed off. How am I supposed to... Flippin' heck. How am I supposed to pour the... Pour the beer? How did he say... How did he say to do that? Oh, for goodness sake. Can I skip that one? No, that's beer too. I can't... No, no one can have beer. I can't do that. Pete Bog. Oh, lovely. Because we totally drink pea bog. <laughs> Uninstall the game, it's all you can do. <laughs> oh my god. I... Sorry guys, I need to calm down. I'm having... Is that a cow's head? Yeah, I think that is. Maybe it's milk. Moo? 
Um, I'm having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm having so much fun though, guys. I'm having such a laugh. Is that basil? Why in, what are these drinks? Okay, I made peat bog. And brown river, that's disgusting. Okay, so one lemon. What are they, cherries? Or grapes, no they're grapes probably. A tomato and one, two, three, four pineapple. A cherry. And do we just feck the ice in again? You did something wrong, lass. I did not. You're wrong. Okay, maybe you need to blend the ice then. Do I blend the cherry? I can't do that, okay. This is a really strict bar. Usually they just give you whatever. Okay, did I? Is it blend of ice? You did something wrong, lass. Can you move the tap? From the middle to the right. No, it's not letting me move the tap at all. And I've screwed this up as well. If he knows better, he should do it himself. He should. Try picking up the mixing glass. Two cherries. Hmm. Okay, let me try again. So it's small glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, one. Pour that in. Right, that has to be right. That cannot be wrong. And then we've got big glass with lemon. One, two, three, four. Tomato. One, two, three, four. Okay, so pour that in. Ah, uh, okay, it's got a picture of a blender on it if you blend. <clears throat> so we don't blend. So yeah, then we just do the cherry and throw the ice in. That has to be right. You didn't make what they asked for. Some employers are just that way. Add a second cherry. Okay. Let me take this back. Oh! Oh, it's not letting me add another one. But that would make sense because it says two cherries. This is bull. Absolute bull. I did four lemons. It should have been one. Oh my god. Thank you. Well, I feel sheepish. Five, six, seven, eight. I threw out this one that was right as well. Okay. No tips. No tips. It's fine. Okay. Lemon. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. Cherry, ice. Can I add another cherry? No, I can't. You made a mistake, girl. <gasps> what? It is flipping ball. Welcome, Alessandro. Nice to see you. I'm having I'm having a nightmare here. None of my drinks are right. <laughs> None of my drinks are right. Okay. 
So, ugly mug outlaw. How are we supposed to do this beer? Would you... Excuse me, mister. I need more instructions, please. I need more instructions. <laughs> Observations. Uh, no, none of that is helpful. Can't check that off yet. God, I give up. Malou, thank you so much. A donation you probably needed to buy a drink later. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. <laughs> Can they get water? The boss is an arse. Put the ice in before the cherry. Yeah, maybe. I just don't understand how I'm supposed to... Or the beer. Oh my god. Who the hell pours a beer like that? You don't. That is not how you pour beer. Stop. That is not how you pour beer. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Okay, well at least I figured it out how to to pour the flipping beer. Brown River sounds gross. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Sorry guys, I think I'm missing a ton of your comments. I'm so focused on this. Okay, that has to be right. So it's just this one that we keep. Well, I say we, I keep messing up. So one lemon, one, two, three, four. One tomato. One, two, three, four. Right, put the ice in before the cherry. Would you? Nah, okay. All done and dusted, are ya? Thank you, miss. Take what's in the tip jar. And the next time you help out, you can keep the tips then as well. What? You make what? a mean crow's nest, girl. Well done. Now, I'm to tell you what happened to the Sassenach, am I? I'm sorry, happened to the what? The Sassenach. I can't even the talk Englishman. about it. The one Kyler was supposed to be marrying. Well, what happened to him is this. The she took him. The good people whisked him straight off to their world, they did. By the good people, you mean fairies? You'll not be hearing me call him that. All of us have a name we prefer, and with them, the good people it is. So that's what I call them, and you'd be wise to do the same. Mmm, okay. Just what are these good people going to do with him? Whatever they please. He's in their world now, and he'll not be coming back. That's as much of the truth as we'll ever know. Tis not the first time the good people have seen fit to meddle in the affairs of Castle Malloy. Cause the explosion they did. Explosion? Aye, the one that half destroyed the place. The man who lived oh. there in 1944, Brendan Malloy was his name. He was a scientist, charged with making rocket fuel, people say. Only one summer night, something went terrible wrong. There was a flash, like a thousand lightning bolts. Then a huge boom sent everything south of the library, flying towards the sky. Brendan, his wife, Caitlin, 
used to own this place, she did. Aye, and their little girl, Fiona. All three were lost to the world forever when the place blew. Oh. But the blame lay not with Malloy. It was the good people. They'd taken a shine to Fiona, is why. And they knew that little girls, no matter how much they're adored by wee folk or mortals, sooner or later, all little girls grow up and grow old. The good people couldn't bear to see this happen to their beloved Fiona, so they made full sure it never did. Sounds to me like the good people are actually just the opposite. <laughs> they have their ways, and we have ours, is all. That's just the way of things. Got plans for you, they do. The fairies? Uh, the good people? What makes you say that? I meant to pocket your car keys for safekeeping on my way over here. But I couldn't find them. You mean my keys weren't in the car? Aye, that's exactly my meaning. Taken they were. The good people want you to be staying. Ooh, this is juicy. Do you dislike all Englishmen as much as you dislike Matt Simmons? Or is he special somehow? I've little use for any Sassnach. But I took a dislike into this one soon as I laid eyes on him. Arrogant he was. Cocky. Disrespectful. Foolish. Always touching things he shouldn't. Going places he didn't belong. Worse than a stray dog that one was. Jesus! Okay. Yeah, what, what about, about his friend? What about his friend Kit? Aye. He may talk like a Yank and live like a Brit, but there's Irish in the lad. I saw it right off. Little wonder he's in love with the girl. They'll make a fine pair. Whoa, wait a minute. Kit's not in love with Kyler. Blind, are you now? Loves her he does indeed. He's all but wearing a sign saying so. He came to the wedding early to make sure there'd never be a wedding. Only the good people saw to that for him. Ah, the luck of the Irish. Oh my god, we were right to be suspicious of him. He's in love with the bride. Of course he'd want to get rid of the groom as well. Oh my god. Oh, thank you so much again, Malou. Oh, the little cat, that's so cute. Oh, is there... What's going on in the comments? So someone took offense to me saying moron it's derogatory like the or word oh well in Ireland it's not it's quite a common word um I'm really sorry you took offense to that Kerderf um, it wasn't meant offensive at all. We we use it like um, idiot, idiot as well. We just use it as a normal word. Definitely was not meant as the or word. So yeah, I'm very sorry that that offended you. Um, but I. I wasn't aware of that, I'm afraid, and it was not meant. It was not meant in that way at all. So, yeah, no, I am, I'm sorry about that, but definitely, definitely wasn't meant in that way. Um, but good for me to know. Thank you. Um, okay, so let's get back to this. So, the name of the place... Oh yeah, what's a banshee? The name of this place. Just what exactly is a banshee? A woman, one of the good people, as alive as you and me, with wild hair almost as long as the tattered grey robe billowing up around her whenever she appears. Sometimes she takes on the form of a hooded crow, but it's the sound she makes, her terrible wailing, that strikes fear in the human heart. Mm, because this is what I was talking about. Because when a mortal hears the wail of a banshee, 
It means someone is about to die. Yeah, hearing wailing in the middle of the night is never a good thing. And those foxes were out there screaming. Scared the life out of me. Uh, oh yeah, we did see someone. I saw someone with long hair and a grey robe outside the castle tonight. Did you know? She, it, ran across the road in front of me. That's why my car's in the ditch. Not till I was fifty and four did I see a banshee. To see one at your age, on your very first night in Ireland. A <laughs> special lass you are indeed. Ah. Uh, uh... Yeah, Do banshees ever leave things behind, like, say, little dolls? Do not be mistaken banshees for Santa Claus now. <laughs> a warning is all they leave behind about something that's coming and can't be stopped. Um, yeah, let's ask them about the wailing. Sometimes I hear this strange kind of wailing sound when I'm in the castle. Have you ever heard it? These ears don't work so well now. Even the pattern of rain is beginning to slip by them. But the situation being what it is, by my reckon, a banshee you heard. Oh, Nancy thinks it sounded more mechanical. I don't think so. This sounded more mechanical. So, all of a sudden, you're an expert on banshees, are you then? <laughs> well, no, but... A banshee it was. How they know what they know, and why they do what they do, are mysteries far beyond mortal solution. But be assured, lass, someone at Castle Malloy is doomed. Yikes. Well, that was a fun conversation. I get going. Fine with me. Oh my god. Right. Um so Oh, thank you so much, David. That's so kind. Thank you. Really, really appreciate that. You like the way I say or. Thank you. Kerderf, you did not say it was the same as the or word, but one degree under the or word. Oh, okay, well, I never, never knew that or realized that before. So thank you for informing me. Um, Literally had no idea that that was a, that was a bad word. So I do apologize. Um, right, so what are we going to do? Okay, oh, we've got a big list. All done. Okay, so we've done that. We still have to win those games. Did that. We got into the castle. Did that. Check. See everything worth seeing. Did that. Okay. Good luck. Still have to do that. Oh, I need to look around the library more. Still have to do that. Oh. Find the gemstones that are missing. Explore the room that Kit is in. We don't have that. Why does Kit get the entire banquet hall? Put three tokens into that fortune telling machine. Yeah, I need one more token. Uh, find out what to do with that gear. Be a dutiful maid of honor and print those three programs. Oh, sh sugar, I totally forgot we have to do that. Explore the grounds with the lantern. Check. And make the drink. Okay, let's explore the grounds with the lantern, I guess. I swear, is this something? I cannot pick this up. Oh, I can go to the side. Oh, there's so much more to explore. There's nothing here. <laughs> okay. Maybe we go there later? Can't go there. Okay. Um, 
Ooh, look, we can go everywhere now. We can go wherever we like. Nothing can stop us. That's, ooh, what's that? Let me see, why am I stuck? <gasps> There's so many puzzles. I presume we need some kind of hint as to what to do here. Oh, thank you so much for joining, Christy. Hope you have a good evening. You hear frogs? Yeah. Lots of frogs. I actually really like frogs. I think they're quite cute. Um. Yeah, I don't- Oh! What's this? Of course there's leprechauns. We Wonder found what them. what crow's doing in there. <gasps> of course they have leprechauns. Why wouldn't they? Oh my god. Right. We're supposed to put them... them a particular way we're we supposed to just guess or get a clue for it maybe okay I don't want to spend ages guessing if we actually need a clue oh <gasps> what's this I Kyler chose you Matt as my friend my companion my love through life's trials and will travel Celebrations. Oh, sorry. And celebrations will travel the road of life together, united in heart and mind. From the first, you gave a gift to the pleble. I never, I never know. I've never known and one eye, Matt. One eyed Matt. What? We'll treasure always this ring. I give you all my love, my heart, my soul. What am I doing? This is wrong. <gasps> Kyler was having second thoughts. <gasps> Do you think Kyler maybe likes Kit too? Do you think Kyler and Kit did something together to like get rid of Matt? Hmm. Okay. This is, um, okay, just crumpled runes. Right, so we- oh, it's a well! Oh my god, there is so much out here. Right, so let's just go and do the, the invitations thing. And then we'll probably just end it there for today, I would say. Oh, I'm just going the wrong way. Um, but yeah, let's just do our maid of honour duty. <laughs> before before we do and um i can do a vote as well if you want me to continue this game or i can play something else next time on stream as well i absolutely do not mind um this was just something fun to play <laughs> because it's irish oh yeah so this is the printing thing i should use black ink to print the programs oh okay um, so where do I put this then? <gasps> Did I just throw black ink all over the wedding invitations? I... Mm. I should use black ink to print the programs. 
Yeah, I I threw it there, but what am I supposed to do? Oh, okay, this is my paper. Can I wait what? Am I missing something? Am I missing paper? I'd better finish the rest of these before I go anywhere. Oh, there. Hang on. Haha, -ha, there we go. Celebration of Kyler Logan Malloy and Matthew William Simmons, Malloy Castle, Ireland, June first, one p.m. Officiant Patrick O'Flaherty, Maid of Honor Nancy Drew, Best Man Alan Payne. Yeah, Kit is definitely up to something. I'd better finish the rest of these before I go anywhere. Jesus, how many does she need? Oh yeah, three. But yeah, I'm wondering now if maybe Kyler and Kit are in cahoots on this or something. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, is that enough? Yeah. Okay, invitations are done. So um, I'm just going to actually save it. Save. Right. Um, yeah, so I think we'll just leave it there for today. Um, that was a fun, <laughs> that was a fun little stream. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, enjoyed the, <sighs> Ireland themed stream and as I said if you do want me to continue this game I can do that in other streams or we can play something else I absolutely do not mind but I really enjoyed that I had such a laugh <laughs> oh it's nice to hear other people enjoyed it as well sorry just try to catch up on comments that kid's a liar he yeah he's definitely up to something <laughs> if i die on new game plus my punishment is to speed run these puzzles i don't think i could even if i tried yeah you definitely think kit and kyler are in something together absolutely had a great laugh. Puzzled out. 10%? Yeah. We, we haven't even cracked any of it. Oh, no problem, Alessandro. Glad you could join the stream. Thank you so much, CB. That's so kind and generous. Thank you. Thanks so much, Leigh. Have a great evening. Please finish the game. Okay, yeah, I'll do a vote. I'll do a vote on the community stories and we can do the rest of this one and we can also play a different one as well because, yeah, I feel a bit more comfortable streaming now that I've got a better camera and stuff as well. So I think, like, the quality is kind of good now that we can maybe try play some some different and some fun stuff. Um, but I am, um, the channel members did vote for me to play New Game Plus in Tomb Raider Remastered in the members only stream. So I will be saving that for the members only stream. But anything else um, I can play on a, on a normal stream, I guess. <laughs> More like puzzled confused. <laughs> 
You had a good time laughing at the terrible Irish accents. I did too. And the pronunciation of Donal had me absolutely rolling. That was so funny. <laughs> Hope we get better soon. Oh, is someone is someone not well? If you're not, do you get better soon? Halit, that is so generous. Halit just gifted five memberships. That is so nice. Thank you so much, Halit. My God, I'm gonna have so many members now. It's great. <laughs> but um, yeah, we uh, we're doing the members only stream next month, so. Um, that'll be really, really fun. Time for cat and bed. Aw, <laughs> have fun, Dealey boy. That's so cute. Your cat sound adorable. <laughs> New game plus is torture, but worth it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be great at it, to be honest, but I will give it a go. Off to make... Me and my partner dinner. I hear his stomach growling across the couch. Oh god, I hope you enjoy your dinner, Emerald Raider. Oh, thank you so much, Claire. That's lovely. Thank you, John. <laughs> Thanks, Matthias. Charlie, Haley, Dealey Boy. NG Plus has save crystals. Oh god, yeah. I, in fairness, I should be good with the save crystals because that's how I played Tomb Raider 1 on my PS1. Like the first 100 times I played it. So I should be okay with the save crystals, but maybe not if like combat is also harder and stuff. Thanks so much, Abdullah and Alessio. Ian, <laughs> you're bad at regular Tomb Raider without having New Game Plus. I honestly, I'd say I'm like decent at OG Tomb Raider, but even still, I'm going to struggle so bad with New Game Plus. New Game Plus is going to be difficult. Thanks so much, Kuderf. Crystals is how it should be played. It is, it is the original way. For those who have cold, eat garlic, drink hot tea with honey and milk, and put your feet into hot water and salt for five to ten minutes. They're great tips. Thanks so much, Heavy Dream. Thanks, Elite and David. Oh, thank you all so, so much for joining. <laughs> Stay away from the sheep. Don't worry, I will. They're scary. But yeah, um, I will do a community post tomorrow and we can decide what we'll do for the next stream. I do really want to try streaming more often. Um, so yeah, maybe we can do the rest of this if people are interested and we can also try streaming a few other things as well. Yeah, I just see someone there saying that I'll play remasters, then anniversary, then reboot. That's the order I'm I'm doing the Tomb Raiders in. Yep. Bye, Hugo. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> you need to bully me to do Relic Run, Guardian of Light, and Temple of Osiris. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll definitely do them next year when I have when I have some time. Um, I've never played those, so I do want to play them. Thank you, Lei. Oh, thank you all so, so much. Have a great evening. Hang on, I'm gonna just exit out of this. Um, yeah, have a great evening and I will see you all again very, very soon. Uh, how do I... How do I end this? Hang on. Sorry, I'm so out of practice.
There we go. Okay. Bye. <laughs>